one day, Jesus spoke to his followers and said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Hi guys, I'm Mrs. Kirby and I'm here to tell your Bible story this week. So here to help me, I have a couple of friends. <clears throat> Do you remember the Pharisees? They didn't look anything like this, but they were the religious leaders when Jesus was alive who thought they were really super important and holy because they followed the laws. But they also didn't even believe what Jesus was telling them. Then we have Jesus. Now, we know that this isn't what the Pharisees looked like, and we know this probably isn't what Jesus looked like. But we can use our imaginations. I'm sure you guys are really, really good at that. So you're going to use your imagination, and you're also going to use your face, because these guys can't move their faces. So you have to help us feel how they feel. Okay? Ready? When Jesus said, I am the light of the world, the Pharisees were furious. Arr! You have to make your best furious face because they can't move their faces. So, they said, we have a law. And the law says you can't be your own witness. You have to have two witnesses. So Jesus explained to them that he had been sent from his father. And so he and his father made the two witnesses. He said, I testify for myself, and the Father testifies with me that I am the Son of God. The Pharisees wanted to trick Jesus. So they said, where is your Father? Jesus answered, if you knew me, you would know the Father. If you do not believe that I am from the Father, you will die in your sins. <gasps> the Pharisees kept asking Jesus questions. Their eyes were blind. Well, not really their eyes. It, it was more like, yeah, their hearts were blind. And they just couldn't understand that Jesus had come from God. So Jesus explained it further. He said, God my Father has sent me to earth. And I'm saying just what he planned for me to say. He is with me and I aim to please him. As the curious crowd listened to the words of Jesus, many of them understood that Jesus had come from God and had come to bring peace to those who would believe in him. And many of them put their faith in him. But the Pharisees were not done. And they cried out that Jesus was a Samaritan and possessed by Satan. <sighs> Jesus patiently made it clear that he wasn't bragging, but he was giving praise to his father. If anyone keeps my word, he will not die. Oh, <laughs> the Pharisees believed that they had trapped Jesus now. We know that you are controlled by Satan, they said. Abraham is dead and the prophets are dead. And yet you say if anyone keeps your word, he won't die. But Abraham died and he believed God's word. Who do you think you are? So Jesus spelled it straight out. Abraham looked forward to the day that a savior would come. I am that savior. The Jews thought that they had succeeded in cornering Jesus in his own words, and they spoke accusingly to him. <sighs> you are not even 50 years old, and yet you claim to know Abraham. <laughs> Jesus answered them with one short statement. Before Abraham was, I am. God was called the I am, and Jesus is his son. When the Pharisees and the Jews heard this, they picked up stones to stone him to death. See, during that time, stoning to death was a kind of punishment when someone spoke against God's character. It was called blasphemy. And that's what they felt that Jesus was doing. But 
Jesus had only spoken the truth about his relationship with God. And so God allowed him to hide himself in the crowd and slip away. That was a great story from Mrs. Kirby today. I hope you really enjoyed it. There's three things we're going to talk about. The first, what was Jesus trying to say? The second, why were the Pharisees mad? And the third, what do we need to remember? He was trying to tell the Pharisees that he is not only the Son of God, but also God and has been and ha will always be. Now, he looked like a man like your dad or a grandpa. He was just a man that the Pharisees were seeing. They didn't believe that he had been around when Abraham was alive and would be around even when we are alive today. So the Pharisees thought he was lying, and they got really, really mad because they believed Jesus was lying about who he was. And that's really good for us to remember that sometimes people will get mad when we say we believe in Jesus. Sometimes they'll think that we are dumb, or they'll ask for proof. They'll ask for ways for us to prove it to them, and we may not always have the answer. That's what the Pharisees did. They asked for witnesses, for people who had seen or had proof that Jesus was who he said he was. And they got really mad when Jesus said that he was God and the Son of God, and he was his own witness. That's something the Pharisees didn't want to accept and couldn't understand. Sometimes people don't understand why we love Jesus and why we believe he is God. But it's important to know that he is with us no matter what, and he will give us strength when we are feeling hurt by the words of others. Just like the Pharisees wanted to hurt Jesus, sometimes people we know can hurt us with their words when they think we're dumb or silly or wrong for believing what we do. But Jesus is there. He is the light of the world. He shines brightest no matter what, and we can trust that he'll be there to take care of us. I hope you enjoyed this lesson today and look forward to the one in coming next week and have fun with the craft project that Mrs. Moore put together for you. It's time to work on a memory verse. This week, our story came from John chapter 8 in the Bible, and we will be memorizing verse 12. So let's get started. Let's start with the first part of our verse. Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. This time, say it with me. Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Okay, say it again, but louder. Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Great job. Now let's move on to the second part of our verse. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let's say it together. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. This time louder. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Awesome. Let's say the whole thing now. Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Stand up and say it. Again, Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. John chapter 8, verse 12. Great job today.